The NIV version says that it stood 90 feet tall. Uh -huh. It was 9 feet wide. Uh -huh. And when all of the musicians played their uh -huh. music, they were commended that everyone, everyone, the golden is. That's the picture, if you will, a vast land covered with hundreds and possibly thousands of individuals. Yeah. Oh, man. But they hear this music, uh -huh. and they bow down uh -huh. to the image, uh -huh. but yet in the midst of the crowd, uh -huh. there stood three uh -huh. young men uh -huh. that refused to bow down. Uh -huh. No matter what they were faced with, all right, all right. the decree had already been put in place. Yes, if you are found uh -huh. that you do not bow to the image, yeah. uh -huh. that you will be thrown uh -huh. into a fire. Yeah. Yeah. They knew the consequences. Uh -huh. They knew the danger that they faced. Yeah. But they had faith in their Almighty God. Yes, regardless of what they had to do, yeah. they were going to stand for what was right. Yes, and yeah. church, we have got to have that same yes, attitude right. with our yeah. Yeah. Regardless of what the society says. Uh -huh. Regardless of what put our lives in danger. Uh -huh. But if we are going to take a stand for Christ, uh -huh. we may find ourselves in trouble. Uh -huh. That when Paul preached his first sermon, uh -huh. Uh -huh. they had the Lord through a hole in the law in a basket uh -huh. because they wanted to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. When Stephen preached his first sermon, uh -huh. Uh -huh. they stoned him to death. Yeah. Yeah. When they crucified, when Jesus came and preached the good news, yeah. they ended up crucifying him. Uh -huh. So, brothers and sisters, if you want to take a stand for Jesus, uh -huh. you may find yourself in the right way. We serve a God that is with us. Yes, sir. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Yeah. If we can serve God when all is with us, well, we ought well. to serve him in the midst of trouble. Yes, right. Because God hasn't changed. Uh -huh. If he was worthy of service when all is with us, uh -huh. if he was worthy of your praise when all is with us, uh -huh. then we find ourselves in trouble. Uh -huh. When we find ourselves in harm, we, uh -huh. we are talking about the same God. Uh -huh. So if we can have holy hands when all is comfortable within the walls of the church, you can still get your shout on out here in this mean and unfriendly world. God has not changed. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about taking a stand yes, sir. in an ungodly land. Yes, sir. Now, let's take the time and let's walk through the text. Oh, okay. Let's walk. It said, King Nebuchadnezzar, I'm going to read from the NIV. It said, King Nebuchadnezzar made a gold. Statue, yes. uh, nine feet tall and nine feet wide. Yes. Set it up on the plain door in the province of Tyre. Yes. Then the herald shouted out, "People of all races and nations, uh -huh. land, listen to the king's command. Uh -huh. When you hear the horn and all of the other instruments, yes. right, right, right. you are to bow down and worship King Nebuchadnezzar, yes. golden in the sea." Uh -huh. The command and the decree has been given that you worship King Nebuchadnezzar, uh -huh. golden image. Uh -huh. Now, these three Hebrew boys, uh -huh. Shadrach, uh -huh. Meshach, and Abednego, uh -huh. they knew the God of Israel. Uh -huh. They knew Yahweh. They, uh -huh. they knew God was the God. So they had it made up in their hearts uh -huh. and made up in their minds that come with me. We are not going to buy out to the golden image and do you not grow brothers and sisters and if you want to serve God, you've got to have a beta of mine. Yeah. Yeah. If any man come after me, he must deny himself. Yeah, we're going to have to let some things go in order to serve Christ. You know when you got, you know when you got right with God, some of your friends cut you off. You didn't do anything to them personally. Uh -huh. All you did was start living for Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And some of those friends that used to stop by all the time. Yeah. You don't hear from them for all yeah. the You think you might have done something wrong. All you did was start living for crap. Yeah. Some family members uh -huh. who are always checking up on I know you're right. Wondering if they can count on them. Yes, sir. Start living for Jesus. Yeah. Your phone then ring is off. Don't uh -huh. stop stopping by. Uh -huh. yeah. Because we need to stand for what's right. Yeah. Our friends are going to shy away. Yeah. People are going to start thinking they're going to get away from you because you're living for Jesus. 
Jesus. But I gotta stop by to tell you this evening that whatever you lose yes. in the call for the cause of Christ is what getting rid of in the first It's worth turning loose in the front. Oh, yeah. these, these three boys, they screw it. Uh -huh. I'm going to go right. Uh -huh. Notice in verse number, verse number 12. Uh -huh. But there are some Jews, shout out to the second offender, uh -huh. whom you put in charge of the problems of power. Yeah. They pay no attention to you. They refuse to serve their gods and do uh -huh. not worship the gold statue you have set up. Now, this put King Nebuchadnezzar in a predicament. All right. All right. The king had shown favor to the uh -huh. And the king, once he made a decree, he couldn't go back. Uh -huh. Therefore, he was found himself between a rock and a heart. Uh -huh. On one hand, uh -huh. I love these boys. Uh -huh. I'm enforcing the rules, right? And I lose my power with everybody. So now the king yes. is forced to enforce the decree. And they really trouble him in his spirit to have to enforce the rules on these three boys. I notice what it says. If you're familiar with this passage of scripture, you, you, you get happy when you, when you hear what these boys say. It says, come on, it says, King Nebuchadnezzar said, any true Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That you refuse to serve my God yeah. or worship the Lord that I have set up. Now notice what the king says in yeah. verse number 15. I will give you one more chance. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ, Jesus. 
come what may, the God that we serve is able to deliver us. So we need to come home. It is strong, man, if we keep our focus on Christ. They took a stand yeah. in an ungodly land. Yeah. And their stand that they took for God yeah. caused them to get thrown uh -huh. into the Here's the thing about the Lord. Yeah. Big Mama used to say that the Lord works in mysterious ways. Uh -huh. you, you would think because of their obedience that the Lord may have prevented uh -huh. them from being thrown into the fire. Oh, yeah. Some of us have wondered, Lord, why me? We have wondered, Lord, Lord, how did I end up in this storm? How did I end up in this situation? Sometimes God will allow the storm to come. Just so he can get the glory of bringing you up. I say that again. God may allow the storm to come so he can get the glory for bringing you out. They need to understand for what was right, so surely an angel will come through. Keep them from being thrown into the fire. No. no. They did get thrown into the fire. But then something happened. Why did they get the fire? When they, the king commanded that the fire be turned up seven times higher. Sometimes. They turned the fire up seven times high. And the king commanded that they be thrown into the fire. And once they were thrown in, the Bible said that the king leapt to his feet. And he looked into the fire first. And then he asked a question. He said, did not we throw three in? But when I look, I see four in. Because you call me to do it. Oh, yeah. All the time I have to endure. 
their lives were in danger. Uh -huh. But they did not compromise. Yeah. They didn't compromise for Christ. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And church, we live in a time right now where the world is distant from God. Yeah. They call us crazy for serving a God that we haven't seen. Right. Uh -huh. They say we're crazy for shouting in the way we carry on and worship. Yeah. But the God that we serve is worth yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 